What's up folks, Mike for CMCC Builds here with another five minute build where we create a character build in five minutes or less. Five minute maximum. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Rather than feature a build that has many different iterations floating around the interwebs, we're gonna look at a specific build that's been floating around the interwebs. That of course is Tabletop Builds Flagship Ranger. If you're unfamiliar with the Tabletop Build site, I will link them in the description. It's a D&D optimization website with a ton of content and a ton of cool people. Check them out. And if you want a more in-depth look at their build, I suggest giving that a read as well. A bunch of people have asked for the flagship ranger to take a crack at the gauntlet, and in fact, several have. If you want to see the results, check out our gauntlet discord, link below. Given that it's both been asked for and has participated in several gauntlets, I figured it would be a good idea to feature the build on my channel and give TTB the credit they deserve. This is unquestionably one of the most powerful builds in the game. It multi-classes a lot, so prepare yourselves and your DMs. Can I? No! What is the build trying to do? Well, as the Tabletop Build's authors put it, using Crossbow Expert, Sharpshooter, Umbral Sight, and Dread Ambusher to deal as much damage as possible from range to a single priority target, particularly on the first turn where it's most effective, and using a finely tuned selection of spells, Goodberry, Absorb Elements, and Fog Cloud to make the most of what little magic we have. And after tier one, the build looks to prioritize Pass Without a Trace to surprise enemies and Force Multiply via surprise rounds for you and your allies. This build uses surprise a lot. If you or your DM has issues with that, this is not the build for you. Okay, where to begin? All right, all right. Let's get rocking! Yeah. Custom Lineage. Yes, Bugbear has a great feature that allows you to go off in round one, but being four levels behind in feats is not worth the trade-off. With that feat, take Crossbow Expert, and the trait, take Dark Vision rather than a skill, it's likely more valuable. Ability scores, nine strength, 14 dexterity, 14 constitution, eight intelligence, 14 wisdom, and 13 charisma. Bump dex to 16 with your racial ASI. With your background, use a custom background to get proficiency in Arcana to scribe scrolls, and nature to help make use of poison later in the build. With the starting class, take Ranger. For proficiencies, I usually say take whatever your party needs, but here we want perception, stealth, and athletics. The first two are extremely important to the build and use Canny to double the proficiency bonus on perception. Level two, you get Ranger spells and a fighting style. For your spells, take Absorb Elements and Goodberry. Don't go with Hunter's Mark, it's a trap, especially with Crossbow Expert. With your fighting style, Archery is the only choice here. Level 3, the Ranger Archetype selection will be Gloomstalker. The subclass is super powerful, maybe overpowered, probably overpowered, but this is a top tier optimization Ranger build, so Gloomstalker it is. Tabletop Builds operates under the assumption that you can switch out subclass spells when you gain a level in the class, switch out Disguise Self for Longstrider, pick up Fog Cloud, and Rangers get a free Speak with Animal spell. Ranger 4, take the feat Sharpshooter. This is the offensive skeleton of the build. Shoot things from range using Crossbow Expert for a bonus action attack and Sharpshooter when appropriate. TTB has a heuristic to help with the Sharpshooter or not question. Check it out on their page. Ranger 5, extra attack. Rangers get Beast Sense as a free spell and Gloomstalker gets the ultra powerful Rope Trick and pick up Pass Without a Trace, of course. Arguably the most powerful spell in the game and certainly the most important to this build. Now things get fun. Level 6, take a level on Cleric. For the Divine Domain, take life domain which gives heavy armor proficiency and the life berry combo so every good berry now does an additional two plus spell level and healing beyond the good berry itself massive healing pool this also doubles your available spells take guidance light mending as cantrips and bless detect magic cure wounds healing word and sanctuary level seven multi-class again this time taking fighter having no shield with your crossbow can hurt so take the defense fighting style for a plus one ac Two more levels in Fighter takes you to level 9, Action Surge at 2, and a Martial Archetype. Battlemaster raises the ceiling on single target Nova with maneuvers like Precision Attack, which complement Sharpshooter so well. Menacing Attack and Trip Attack are also strong maneuver options. At level 10, multi-class into a fourth class by taking a level in Warlock. The Patron? The Dreaded Hexblade. This gives Hexblade's Curse, which is good enough of a damage bump to forego the bonus action attack on a single target, Take Mage Hand and Minor Illusion Cantrips and Expeditious Retreat and Shield. The added durability from this spell cannot be overstated. A second level in Warlock gives the Invocations Devil Sight and Eldritch Mind to help with much needed concentration spells. Pick up Unseen Servant as the third Warlock spell. A third level in Warlock gets a Pack Boon. Take Pack to the Blade and trade Devil Sight for Improved Pack Weapon. Trade Expeditious Retreat for Invisibility and Misty Step. 
Multi-class again, this time into Rogue for three levels. You can probably guess where this is going. Take Investigation and Stealth Athletics for expertise. For the roguish archetype, Assassin. Surprise for auto crits and advantage when going first is a must have and perfectly synergistic with this build. At 16, go back into Warlock for two more levels for a feat. Alert, win initiative. Drop Unseen Servant for borrowed knowledge and spider climb. Add the Friend's Cantrip. At Hexblade 5, add Eldritch Smite to your invocations, a massive damage boost. Drop Spider Climb for Counterspell and Fly. One final multiclass, Into Sorcerer for Divine Soul. Favored by the Gods is fantastic, and on this build, can actually be used for attacks, not just saves. Time is short, take these spells here. Back to the Fighter for Resilient Khan. Switch out Trip Attack for Ambush, and finally a fourth level in Rogue to get the Luck Feed at level 20. Boom. Done. Please like the video if you like the video and consider subscribing or even joining my Patreon to get write-ups of this build and any others along with cool perks. See you next time, folks.